Hi, this is Myra with Boutique Paint. Today I would like to show you stamping on a pillowcase. Now I have already done a video that was just showing how to do it. Uh, this is a little bit uh, more to that. This is an actual tutorial showing you um, some tricks that I've kind of come up with on doing this. Um, this is the stamped uh, layout that we're going to use. This is um, the new stamp from uh, the Butterflies collection. And then these pieces here are from the Queen Bee stamp set. I start out by taking the top sheet off of the stamp. And I do, um, with a Sharpie, I uh, do a halfway point going both directions, kind of making a crosshairs to make it easier to position your stamps and get them more centered. And then on the fabric, I do the same thing. And this pillowcase measures 19 across and I'm going to use a disposable ink pen. This is for uh, fabrics, but I also use it on um, basically anything, um, wood, painted stuff, um, and it disappears um, within 12 to 24 hours. If you happen to be making something and it's a gift and you want to hurry up and, and get it to disappear a little faster, you could take um, a paper towel and just a little bit of water and dab it on and it will then disappear quicker. So what I do is mark out my pillowcase also. And this is 19, so we're going to do... Nine and a half. Just double check. Yep. And sometimes it's a little deceiving when you're working on fabric because, um, let's do our line first. That's not right. <laughs> That's another thing that is good about using the purple pen. Even if you mess up, it doesn't matter because it will disappear. Um, what I was saying about the fabric though, um, sometimes the grain is not straight. And these pillowcases are a perfect example of that. Um, sometimes I'll make my mark. This one actually is really good, but sometimes I'll make my mark and I have to remeasure and remeasure because it's like that doesn't look right. Um, the grain sometimes is running downhill and you're like, Ugh. so um, that's the reason why I like to mark it out besides the fact that it just makes it easier to center. Um, so there's two ways that you can do your layout. You can either center your piece or your pieces right on the um, piece that you're going to stamp on and then um, match it up that way or you can just flip it over and do your layout on top and then flip it over and stamp. That's kind of what we're doing today is it's already been laid out. So we're gonna, I'm using um, the stone gray ink. Oh, one other thing really important is I put cardboard inside the pillowcase. And the reason why I do that is so that the ink will not bleed through. There we go. Go back to stamping. Now I just re-inked the stamp pad. So sometimes it, it kind of looks bubbly. It's not too bad right now. And then I take a baby wipe. If they come out of the container. And I wipe 
around the edges here wherever I've got some ink on fabric it has a tendency to um, show up more than if you're uh, stamping on a flat surface you just want to get the ink off those edges sometimes I'll trim these back a little bit so that they won't get the ink on them oh, we're looking pretty good now and it just kind of casts a little little shadow so we're gonna flip it over get lined up and then set it down just keeping it so it's not going to shift on you just want to kind of press down now because I just re-inked this um, I probably won't let it just set on the fabric for very long sometimes I'll just let it sit here for a moment or two so that the ink can absorb into the fabric and then lift up and there you go and like I said the ink will disappear within about uh, 24 to 48 hours you add your pillow insert and you're you're done um two really important things for stamping on fabric is you want to wash your fabric ahead of time very very important um, most fabric has sizing in it when they um, it comes from a manufacturer so you need to wash the sizing out um, what was the other thing <laughs> um, heat setting you need to heat set this so let the ink set for 24 hours and then you'll take an iron and just press on the sections for about uh, 15 seconds or so go over it then you can do it again that's how I usually do it and then you're ready to go um, and then you put your pillowcase in there um, thanks for joining us you can find any of these products on our website at www boutiquepaint.com. Thanks.